Hey everyone, Meg Bolger here from Facilitator Cards. Yesterday in our Facilitator Brain Jam, we got into building and trying out a software called Mhm. So Mhm is kind of similar to OBS or to Ecamm. It is a software that can manipulate your webcam. Uh, so no matter what uh, software you're facilitating in, whether that's Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, et cetera, you can do some really cool things or things that my participants continue to call Zoom magic. So those things would include uh, putting slides right next to your head or uh, kind of bringing your slides straight into your Zoom window or being able to essentially screen share your computer without ever actually having to press that dreaded screen share button. So uh, what we did in the Brain Jam yesterday is we learned how to set this up in mm -hmm, um, how to actually like make these different types of scenes happen. So whether that's slides, whether that's screen sharing, or whether that's just having your logo in the bottom corner of your Zoom window, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of how to set that up in mm -hmm. One thing I'll tell you before we get uh, into the nitty gritty is that mm -hmm looks a little bit different on Mac versus PC. Apparently there is a beta version for PC that looks way more similar. So I will leave a link below to download that. So apologies PC users, if it doesn't look like this on your side, that is because I am using a Mac and uh, hope you'll be able to follow along and get a lot out of it either way. So uh, let's get into mm -hmm and I'll help you build this scene uh, understand how to put slides, whether that's slides that you build directly in mm -hmm, just like this one, or slides that you want to import from Canva or Google Slides or PowerPoint. Um, and I'll also help you figure out how to do this really cool version of a screen share. Um, and uh, if you don't want uh, yourself to be in it, you can even make uh, make that disappear. So uh, we can we can make uh, we can make ourselves disappear entirely. So. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just gonna set myself up here. Okay, awesome. So uh, everything that you just watched is happening in my Zoom meeting. So again, mm -hmm is basically set up as our Zoom camera. So down here at the bottom, I have my mm -hmm camera set up. And so everything you're seeing me do, uh, like change from scene to scene is what I'm actually doing is clicking uh, parts of my mm -hmm setup. So uh, this is what I've been using uh, to make those changes that you've been seeing in the first part of the video. So when I wanted the slides, I was just selecting scene two where my slides are. Uh, my screen share is set up in scene three and my just like subtle little logo scene is set up here in scene five. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to build all of these from scratch and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So when you open mm -hmm for the first time, you are going to have an untitled uh, presentation um, open and you will probably be dropped into this room. So in mm -hmm, the rooms are, uh, you can think of them as virtual backgrounds. Um, that's this tab and there's a bunch to choose from that are kind of defaulted uh, and they all have very different looks and feels to them. Uh, for me, I don't tend to use a virtual background. I tend to want, um, people to see my real background and to just kind of manipulate um, and be able to add to that. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually just set ourselves up to have our real backgrounds here. If you use a virtual background, this is gonna be awesome uh, for you to have more options. And uh, I think a lot of them are really beautiful. Um, but if you're like me and you really just use your uh, default background, most of the time, your real, your real life background, um, then uh, we wanna make sure we can do that. So let's set up that as our first scene. So you're going to come up here to presenter and you are going to uh, change the frame. So right now this frame is silhouetting me. It's cutting me out um, and it's plopping me into a virtual background. So we want to select this middle frame, which is show presenter in full frame. Ooh, there it goes. Now it's going to adjust. Okay. So one thing you'll see that mm -hmm does automatically, which is kind of wild, is that you'll see it centers you. It kind of centers your eyes in the frame. I think that's really cool, but it also makes me a bit seasick. So I'm going to go ahead and turn center me off. So the next thing we'll do is um, my frame, you know, is 
I've got my real background, but I've still got this virtual background here that I'm also dealing with. So if you hover over your video, you should see these blue uh, kind of boxes that uh, will allow you to stretch and expand. There are two that I see these blue X's. And if you click those, uh, and then we go ahead and drag out, we now have ourselves as this full frame. Is that like quite true? Yeah. Okay. So now we've got ourselves as our full frame. We've got a real background. And just to show you what that looks like again in Zoom, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell that I'm using any software here. If I jumped into a Zoom meeting with you, you would just think, well, that's Meg's webcam. Uh, but I'm actually piping that through. Mm -hmm. So the next scene that we're going to create is going to be that slide. Um, one thing that's really cool with mm -hmm is that you can build the slides directly in. Mm -hmm. There's been times where I have uh, been, you know, getting ready for a workshop and last minute I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to make an intro slide or an agenda slide. And uh, if you build your slides in, mm -hmm, it's really fast to make them. So let's make one now. Uh, let's make our little intro slide. So I'm gonna click this button right here that says new slide and I'm going to select text. So up here, I'm gonna type my name. Uh, I am the captain of facilitator cards. I'm a facilitation geek and I'm your mm -hmm guide for the day. Oh, well, you know, honor the way they spell it. Okay, awesome. And then I'm gonna click done. And my slide uh, appears, I want it on this side and I want it a little smaller. So I'm just gonna drag these blue boxes till it's the size that I want. So that's awesome and that's how quick it is. So just typing and making a new slide. For me, I like to be able to have my presenter only as its own scene so that I can make adjustments to it if I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this slide and make it a new scene. So if I chop that off, now we've got scene one, which is just our presenter, and we've got scene two, which is our slides. What that allows me to do is if I want to, you know, if I want to have a virtual background for when I'm presenting slides, Slides, I can now have this look for uh, this scene and still have my normal look for my presenter only scene. So that's one reason to kind of separate them and make sure that you have them as distinct scenes so that you can style yourself differently. So I'm gonna leave it here because this is my default when I'm actually presenting, this is what I typically do. Um, these slides, you do have a couple options for appearance uh, within mm -hmm. So down here in appearance, uh, you can go ahead and select a couple of different ones. So we've got classic, I'm not sure whose presentation classically looks like this, but maybe it's yours. Uh, we've got modern. Um, modern is cool. You can make it completely transparent, which is neat. Um, you can also choose to make it um, not transparent down here with these color options. Uh, neon, very interesting looking. Uh, and then we've got billboard. Um, billboard, I, I would say like the white billboard, that's my favorite and my default. So I'm gonna leave it there. If we wanted to make more scenes like uh, slides, sorry, and it, we wanted to have maybe an agenda slide. So uh, part one, we're gonna build and part two, more features. Um, maybe I should have flipped those, uh, the cap locks. Anyway, uh, it's really, really fast to do that. And again, what this is going to look like for people in your Zoom meeting is it's going to come in just like your regular webcam and you'll be able to flip back and forth between them in mm hmm All right, so. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention with your presenter scene. So when you first open mm -hmm, there's going to be a little watermark down here uh, that is the mm -hmm logo. And if you wanna get rid of that watermark, what you need to do is um, up in the file edit, that bar at the very top of your computer on your Mac, um, there's a button that says rooms. When you click that, at the very bottom, there will be an option to hide the watermark. So I had already done that, which is why you didn't see it when I opened it up on my computer. Um, okay, so we've got our plain and simple scene. We've got our slides going. We've styled those a little bit. And now we're gonna do the last main scene that I think as facilitators, we all uh, could benefit from. And that is our screen share. 
So if you have something up on your computer that you want to screen share, you're going to hit new slide. Um, this Mac or iOS device is going to look for that um, thing on your computer. And for me, I am going to look for my Brain Jam. Uh, AHA slides presentation, which is what I've got here. So this is, um, I'm just bringing in some answers from my AHA slides that I used yesterday in a session. Um, right now I've got this as a uh, floating in <laughs> floating as my, as like a shoulder slide, um, or screen share. And I really want that to be the feature image. Um, this is what I would do instead of screen sharing. So I want my participants to be able to see it as big as possible. And of course I'm going to spotlight myself when I'm in zoom to make sure that they're seeing me in that speaker view. So if you want this image, um, this is as big as it can go when it's in shoulder mode. Um, but what if I, if I go down here and I press full, then it's going to take up the majority of the space. Now, because, uh, I, I am like not able to be seen in this, I need to make this a new scene so that I can put myself differently in the frame. So again, I'm going to click this button, new scene. And now I can uh, decide a different frame for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, silhouette. And now I can scale myself down and plop myself down here in the corner. And now I've got my um, I've got my screen share, right? So in Zoom, this is now what my window looks like. And if I spotlight myself for my participants, they'll actually see this instead of, you know, what they're used to, which is seeing my face. So I think that is just incredible. Um, one thing that I don't like about this scene currently is that we've got this moving background, which I am finding a bit distracting and a bit overwhelming. So what we can do there is the reason that's happening is because that's the styling of the room we're in. So I can go down here and click something really simple, like morning sun is just a really nice kind of clean white background, or you can upload something custom. So these are our facilitator card colors and a gradient. Um, and I really like to do that as kind of my default fault uh, when I'm sharing my screen and it doesn't take up the like absolute full width of my Zoom video. Okay, so now that you've got that, uh, you've got the basics to mm hmm. So you can now uh, use it as your default camera. You can now use it to, oh, we, uh, we must not have sliced that off before we changed the um, change the size of our screen share. So that's why it changed our slides. So again, that's why it's really important to create different scenes so that you don't uh, mess up one scene by adjusting, you know, something three slides later. And uh, so we've got our slides. I'll show you again in, in Zoom. So we've got our plain and simple camera. We've got our slides and we've got our ability to screen share. So that's going to uh, take us through our basic mm-hmm uh, set up and walk through. If you are interested in even more information in the other things that I think are really neat and powerful for us as facilitators to know about and maybe even to use as mm -hmm, please check out more of our videos. Uh, I'll leave some in the descriptions or maybe plop them on screen right now. Um, but I hope you learned a lot. I hope you're able to explore and learn mm -hmm, if you are interested in kind of mixing things up and being able to kind of choose the the content you want to bring into your session and not have to continuously choose, oh, is this worth screen sharing or not? I think it's a game changer and I hope it enhances all your virtual facilitations. All right. Until next video, happy facilitating everyone.